Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today in Build Box 3, we're going to be checking out smart assets for door key, door swing, door slide, door scale. What's going inside these smart assets? What nodes are they using? And how can this be helpful in your next game? Let's go. Before I begin, if you find these tutorials helpful, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to follow along as I put out content around making and creating games with BuildBox 3. Logically, these all make sense. You get a key and then it opens the door and how the door opens depends on the door itself. I usually like to go to the default template when explaining smart assets, but there's a template called Draw, which utilizes most of these doors and keys. So I thought we would just start there and I could put the assets in that template. So let's go. Oh snap. Okay, so I just figured this out. So I'm going to teach you when you're going into the asset library and you want to get back to the 3D world. I was always clicking up here and it never worked. Apparently you can just click the asset library icon and boom, here we go. Let me go ahead and add some of these doors. Ooh, this door looks a little weird. Oh, let's put it over here. Check the other side, see if they look different on the different sides. Nope, they're the same. Wing door and slide door. As you can see in this template, there is already a door. I'm not sure what kind of door this is or what kind of door these are, but we'll find out soon enough. Step one, let's take a look at the door key asset and what's going on here. At the start, there's no physics. We can look at the 3D model. Everything looks normal. Spectacular hardness is at 60. That's pretty high. Here's the mesh. Now, if we did want to add physics to the game, you want to go into physics, select collision shape, and there's no mesh here. So that's going to be interesting. See that would work. Take off physics. Okay, so let's take a look. If collide with sphere, Send, open animation, open door. Okay, and this is defeat animation. Oh, this makes the door disappear. So if you touch the door key, it disappears, shows an animation, and causes open animation, event group open animation, and event name open door. Not exactly sure how that works yet, but I'm sure we will figure it out as we dive deeper. Take a look at the door scale. So we have the start and model. Now, it's like there's no physics, which I do find interesting because I would think a door would have physics, specifically so you don't go through the door. Receive animation, open name, open door. And then here we see the scale node with it is delta and single launch. And then removing the door itself. Looks like the door goes down wide negative one and then disappears this is a receive node this is the first time i've seen this it makes sense here is a send node and the send node has the name of the event group and the event name and then you have the exact same name of the event group and the event name this allows to have door one door two door three so you can have different keys for different doors where is the send and receive oh here we go so it's under action on the sidebar now let's take a look at the sliding door again receive open animation open door and this is a position animation we've gone through this before these specific nodes that come with the door are different than what's on the sides be sure to pay attention and the biggest difference here is the delta and the single launch the single launch is cool if you want to do it once i like to animate things and do a loop but this is a door so you probably want to just do a single launch and maybe even you could have a different object close the door like a button that has a send and then put another receive on the door with different event group names and event names. Next we got the door swing and this is just swinging animation, okay? And swings at a Y of 90 degrees. And again, no physics. I do find that a little bit strange, but I wanna take a look at this rotation because your general rotation will move in the middle and not in like a bigger perspective. So let's go here. Oh, which one is this is the door swing so let's just put all these here and when I get this key it should signify all these doors to activate just to confirm let me go look at this key uh, why am I done get this key 
So look, it did swing at a, the way the door swung was actually kind of unique. So I want to do that again. Cool. And I want to take a look at this key versus asset key. See if there's any difference. This is where I like to look at what you see in the template versus what you see in the smart asset. Sometimes they're similar. Sometimes they have certain features that make them different, which you definitely want to know about so that you can utilize Buildbox to its full potential. We got the key and the door key, with the feet and the animation. All right, so it looks like door key smart asset have the send node, whereas in the key in the pre-made template doesn't have a send. It has its own custom code and that's this open code. It's all right here. If you can read code, this should make sense. Let's see, it says if not enabled and value then enabled equals true, identification door, open animation, causing the door to open. And here it's just defeated. There is no animation. We can actually go here and grab this animation and copy it here. That's one of the great things about Buildbox is just being able to copy and paste. And then once we hit the, this key, you can see it also animate. Very cool. That looks like a swing door. We have the regular door and the smart asset swing door and see if there's any different. One pay attention to these differences because it'll help you when you're making a game and instead of going to the smart asset you can just grab the asset on the sidebar or you need a custom open node you can just go grab that code and copy and paste it into your buildbox project door key has a send goes to door swing receive rotation animation good to go and here in this preset we have key just goes to open and it looks like it says open animation which i suspect has a lot to do here and this open animation which is a custom node has open animation identification zero reviewing all this just makes me think the draw preset has not been updated not since the send and receive nodes were created because with the send and receive node you don't need this custom node it's just unnecessary some of these assets have cool custom nodes that you do want and as Goldbox developers make more cool custom nodes for the no code movement and being able to make games in no code there's gonna be a lot of custom nodes in the future. If I was making a draw game using this preset, I would not use the built-in assets because they're clearly outdated. This is custom and these are on the sidebar and can be used everywhere. So thanks again for watching as I go through the smart assets and you can see that the smart assets have the latest updates in this particular case and the template is outdated you know sometimes it's the opposite and you never really know until you go in and just like spend time playing with buildbox learning how things work and if you want to make a game in 3d with no code then knowing how all the pieces work will help you build a better more complete game that makes sense to you so that there's not any missing pieces on how to send or receive when the door is open and in fact let's go through one more thing with the key so i'm gonna delete just like a lot of these folks so we have this will be door fly door swing door scale a to copy and then w to copy as well i'm gonna match the keys up with the doors just because i've never done it and i want to see it happen we got door key one okay so you know what i actually think i'm gonna have to duplicate the door key so let's call this door key one copy up here door key Two, door key three. Okay, and then let's just grab these and put them in the world. Give all the doors the same X axis. Now we got door key one. We want to be at the swing door. So let's go ahead and open animation. We can just put a one by the door swing. Oh, look at that. That's great. Door key two. We can just put a two by it. Door key two. Door scale. So let's go ahead and receive and for the two, two, and this will be, of course, a door key for B, and it'll send open animation three on open door three. And we have here door slide, receive open animation three, and open animation event name door three. I'm gonna 
go here and change the camera view and let me take a look at this main character because I noticed it actually pops into the screen which I thought was really cool and a lot is going on here the purple ones are custom okay I'm gonna have to spend another day this looks like its own rabbit hole so let's check it out okay door one. Oh no the doors are up too high in the sky bring them down Test again. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say do that. Okay, so I think this key is just too low, what it is. This key, key three, you go to key three and you look at start, if collide with all assets. This is bad, you should never have it say all assets. You want it to collide with the character or whatever the name of the ball is. Doing that will save you processing power and avoid issues like you just saw with the key is activating when it wasn't supposed to because the key was being affected by the ground asset. So let's see if everything worked as intended. No, it didn't work. Okay, so it worked there, that's good. Okay, two out of three. We must have made a mistake on this one. Swing door, look, receive, oh, open animation one, or key, turn animation one, and one more time. Yeah, so there we go. Thanks for following along. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. If you have any questions when it comes to BuildBox 3, let me know. Until next time, 